So when you have fish in your aquarium, your fish are going to produce waste in the form of ammonia and nitrite. Then over time, the uh, um, good bacteria will break the ammonia and nitrite into nitrate. So nitrate is NO3, and the nitrate is going to build up in your aquarium regardless of what sort of aquarium you've got. And then there's various ways that you can get rid of nitrate. If you have a freshwater aquarium, the main way you're going to get rid of nitrate is by doing water changes. So when you do a water change, you want to do a gravel clean, get all the crap out of your gravel, and you want to do a filter clean to get all the crap that builds up in your filter, because that's all going to harbour nitrate. If you do have nitrate, there are also products such as Prime, which will detoxify it, so not necessarily get rid of it, but stop it from being harmful to, to the fish, because at very high levels it can, it can reduce immune system and so forth. Um, if you do have a saltwater aquarium, you've got a lot of options for getting rid of nitrate. Um, you can get what's called a biopellet reactor. And what a biopellet reactor does is, um, is release carbons and various things into the water, which will actually break the nitrate down. Um, it'll allow the growth of um, denitrifying bacteria um, and be a food source. You've also got products such as Red Seas NPX or NOPOX, and that's also working with the same sorts of carbons and catalysts that actually allow the um, nitrate to break down. Um, another protein skimmer, a protein skimmer is going to help because it'll suck out high level organics before they're able to break down. And also making sure you're not using any medias like bioballs. If you use medias like bioballs, they produce nitrate. You want to make sure that you're using a media such as Marine Pure because the Marine Pure is going to harbour parallel denitrification and help to get rid of your nitrate. Um, the other thing to know about nitrate too is that many of the nitrate tests that are on the market actually only have a very short lifespan. So a lot of um, test kits fail positive, p fail negative. So you test it, you think the water's okay, but it's not. But a nitrate will fail positive. So you'll think it's really bad and it's not. So if you get a really bad f nitrate reading out of nowhere, then take your test kit to the aquarium shop and get them to test it against their new one and you might find that your test kit is just getting too old and your test kit needs to be replaced. So nitrate will also be affected by the quality of the food. If you feed very high quality food such as Spectrum and watch the belly of the fish and don't overfeed your fish, that'll help to keep your nitrates down too. So anyway, put a little note down the bottom and um, let me know how you fix your nitrates. And yeah, it's very easy these days. Low nitrates equals the potential for less maintenance and the ability to carry more stock. Other products like polyfilter, that's another one that's quite good for lowering nitrates, and so is Aquarium Detox. So anyway, there's a whole lot of names I just rattled off for things that you can do to help reduce your nitrate level. And um, send me a question if you want to learn more.